Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can give your images a really fantastic grungy finish by using extra clarity. This is my start image here and you can see although the composition is quite nice it's looking really flat and dull. We can give it a boost in clarity in Camera Raw or if you prefer in Lightroom to come up with something much more punchy. So I'm going to start by opening up my clarity underscore before.dng file here from Bridge. I'm just going to right click on it and choose Open in Camera Raw. Now I'm going to start by making a few basic tweaks here in the basic panel. I'll bring the highlights back to about minus 80 somewhere around about there and then we'll up the shadows to about plus 80 somewhere about there is fine and then let's also up the vibrance to about plus 30 just to increase the saturation of the duller colors and I think perhaps we'll just cool the image down we'll just drop temperature down slightly just to cool down those tones. Now I want to apply lots of clarity to really make the mid-tone contrast incredibly punchy. So I'm going to drag clarity up to 100 and you'll see how that works if I just double click that slider to reset it and then click it again to bring it back up to 100. You'll see how we've managed to boost the tones there but it's not quite enough for me. I want more clarity. And a great way to do this is to go to the graduated filter here and then I'm just going to make sure all of my settings are reset. Apart from clarity, I'm going to bring that up to plus 100 and then I'm just going to drag a thin gradient outside the image like this. You see the effect that has. I can do it again, just drag again away from the image, just outside the frame here and perhaps just once more and if I just toggle that layer, that uh, preview on or off there, you'll see the effect that it has where we now have much more punchy tones with that extra boost in clarity. We could perhaps just darken down the foreground here a little bit just to balance out the image. So I'm going to make another graduated filter here, just dragging in from the bottom. This time I'm just going to double click clarity to reset it and just darken exposure like this bring that down to about minus two. I can hold shift while dragging those points just to make sure that they're level and I think we'll drag into about there. And I think we could also perhaps just finish off with a crop. So I'm going to grab the crop tool. I'm going to hold A for the straighten tool and just drag along this line here just to make sure that my image is completely straight. Then I can fine tune the crop just by dragging the crop box like that and then double click to apply. And I think also perhaps we could just finish off with bit of lens correction. I'm going to go to the lens correction panel here. Just go to manual and just drag distortion to about plus three and you see the effect that has. And if we want to add even more punch we can go to the tone curve panel here and just plot a shallow s-shaped curve like this just to add punch and also boost the color saturation slightly. The more pronounced the s-shape the more punch you'll get but I think something round about there is going to work well. So there we go that's how you can add extra clarity to make your images look really grungy just by using graduated filters dragged outside the frame of your image. It's worth noting if you're a Lightroom user you can do exactly the same thing as we've done here but with the added advantage of being able to save your graduated filters as a preset. And I'll just show you a quick before and after of the effect. If I just hold Alt, you'll see my cancel button here switches to reset. So I can Alt click that to reset to my original image and then hit Command or Control and Z to undo to go back to my finished version. And you can see it's quite a transformation.